Yo guys, welcome back to the League of Legends game. We're playing Malzahar against Azir. Kind of a hard matchup this one is. Uh, Faze Azir a couple of days ago. Very hard matchup if you can play it right. Um, let's just see how this one goes. I mean, it is a little bit rough in the beginning. It gets easier when we get a lost chapter. Pretty standard, we all know that. Uh, Arcane Comet, Mana Flow Band, Transcendence, and Scorch is the rune set. So why is this matchup hard? Well, first of all, he does have a better push. Um... He does have a better poke as well. His poke is way easier than our poke to land. He is literally WQ and you get poked down, right? So, it's a little bit rough. Uh, but we have Arcane Comments, so we are not looking for... Well, we're not looking. going to look for trades, actually. I've been emptying my Qs here. I should be trying to farm only. Um, we do have Biscuits as well. So, again, we try to farm it out. When we get Lush after, we might reset and TP back. The, the good old stuff, you know. Good movement so far by this guy. Can't really land my E or Q on him. Um, takes a while to get, to get a read on him though. But we'll get it. He walks forward when he tries to trade. Kind of standard. Azir has been getting nerfed a lot, guys. But he is still good champ if he can play him. And to be honest, he's not the hardest champion to play. If I'm going to be totally honest with you. Um, he is hard in terms of range and stuff. Listen, I'll talk less and I'll play more, okay? Jeez, we get that damage. The poke is so easy to land. Bro! No way, my minions. This is a little bit rough, but we have to try to farm as well as we can. Pog use. I don't have my... Well, I don't go for Futures Market, but I still go for... What's it called? The, um, the Mana Crystal Start. It's not bad, per se, but... I have to reset and go with tier hurt, I think. I need more mana because he is definitely looking for trades. I don't want to look for trades here. I'm going to miss a couple of minions. I'm just going to take it back with tier. It's fine. It's fine. We lost a couple of CSs, but... Sometimes we have to make sacrifices. Azir isn't nerfed enough, guys. I think he needs more. Good uh, good timing for him to trade here because he looks for a reset. He has TP back, so he should be going for hard trades. Get HP for HP as much as he can, and then reset, come back with full HP. So how do we kind of stop that? Well, first of all, we want to make it crash and reset before he reset. So we also get a reset, right? But then again, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> not at this particular moment, though. Maybe next time if he... I'll probably look for reset now. Again, like I said, he tries to force a, um, a TP back here. And get a HP advantage. I have to try to uh, reset here. And I will. I hope. If we don't, like, luckily cue me here. Nice. Does anyone stream? Guys, listen. I have some issues with the stream, right? I stream on the weekends, guys. So if you haven't watched my weekend streams, please, the link is in the description if you guys want to join that. I have an issue with Streamlabs OBS. Like, I get more ping. I lag a little bit. Um... My mic cuts off on the on Streamlab OBS, not on OBS Studios. I'm not sure why. Might be some kind of a bug here. So if you guys have any kind of tips on why that is, let me know. Mm, 
little bit hard, but we're still doing well in CS, I'm not gonna lie. Like comparing how many like how much he pokes me, I feel like we're still not that bad behind. Now we can try to farm like this here, push it from range, and then just run away. And luckily my voilings are not getting any of the minions here. Ah. Miss a few. But we can just try to farm from range as much as possible. Not try to like, get WQ'd anymore because you can always WQ and E and R us if we get uh, if we get ganked. So we're trying to chill. Good movement on this guy. Okay, Voida! What is that minions, man? Holy cringe! He shook, guys. He shook. Nothing like a half foot. Bro, I missed so many minions. Wow. It's insane. We were kind of even, but then one two, one or two bad EWs, and we lost all our minions here. Uh, Ezreal's 2-0. It's okay. Ezreal sucks. Getting his a very strong champ late. I'm not going to lie. They have a good skill in comp. If we get some ganks med, maybe, would be awesome from a Jin Zhao. Like, it's kind of easy to set up. So this is why I love the Q Max. You guys see two Qs on the back wave, we clear the whole back wave. So we don't need our void links to like push it in, if that makes sense. Brother, are you okay? This guy played well in the beginning, now he's kind of ending it. I mean, it's kind of not... It's Like I said with Azir, it's not hard to play good with Azir. The only thing you have to do is just WQ in the beginning. That is pretty much your laning phase. Late game, yes, you have to think about your positioning a little bit better, so you don't enter. A little bit spooked here because of the W or QWE or WQE potential from Azir here. So he's gonna chill a bit, not gonna step too much forward. Um, he's probably looking to a reset. The flash. I was definitely dead there too. Let's see if we can maybe catch up in the siesta button a little bit here. I'm gonna try to stay, take a plate. Just because I have a. Uh... Never mind. I was gonna say because I had TP, but all of a sudden my Zinzao left river and well, they just, uh, Graves was walking up. What is he? The... My bad, my bad. I agreed it. I should have reset, I think. I'm not gonna TP back. Holy shish kebab.
well. I should have not went. It's my bad. I should not follow these calls. Why are we diving? Oh, I don't know. Very rough game. I mean, again, Azir doesn't have flash. Easy setup for Kelts, but we don't take it. Instead, we try to go for these random plays into their turret. Very rough. Let's see, though. I mean, the game is over, but we lose so much for this. I lost, like, two waves for that random roam. Because I know Azir is walking from, like, either he walks down from mid, or, again, he tip it in, right? But it's on his way, so I have to be there. Or else my team will just end, and they will cry for the mid laner, right? So even if it's a bad call, I take it. Which is, again, a mistake. I should never do it, but... Maybe I thought we could kill someone. And... Again, it's a Janna Ez, and we try to dive. It's just so awkward. Uh, we lost a lot for that. And now, again, lost my R. Graves is fed here. Gragas is fed as well, though. That Lance. This guy already has Leandri too. My jungle always hates me, man. I don't know why. I don't get it. What have I done? Oh, man. Here we are again. <laughs> Come on, guys. What are we doing there? Like, please! Oh, don't like the way he's pathing. Thank you. Good player, this guy. Can't say the same for Zinzao, though. Here we go. JK, JK. I'm not mad. It's okay. Let's go. Good gank. Finally. I could press R on him, guys. Yay. Oh, uh, looky, looky who's die die again. Maybe? Oh, these guys are... <laughs> these guys are crazy. It works out, though. Please be careful. Never mind, he's here. Well, their their Cyan is in thing. I don't think he knows how to play this correctly, I feel. Which is good for us that some of us or one of us is having a very big lead here. Zinzawi has got 900 kills too, so it's good. Azir is taking Raptors. Let's just swap. Let's go bots. Lenny phase against Azir. I want to say we lost it. Definitely lost it in CS department. He did have good plays as well. One good TP bot. Definitely had better impact. Um, again, it's kind of it kind of sucks. We do have a very good gank setup. Oh man. That's what you get, you little rat! Spit on him. I spat on him, guys. I did it. Nice. This Graves is on me, though. Okay. 
Okay, never mind. He wants. Nice. Uh... The thing is, do I go Ionius or do I not? I think I do. I am trolling. I forgot he was warded. I forgot he had a ward here. My bad. I'm getting a little bit frustrated here. I'm not gonna lie. I got a you snap tilt and win. Fog juice. Good place, good place. Not my best performance, guys. I'm sorry. A little bit rough early game. Yeah, this is always a balance, guys, I think. Very good champ. This is perfect. Us against the Cyan. Both of us are pretty much the worst players in our team. <laughs> Shut down. Bro, he doesn't take damage. Bounce? Fuck. Well, I mean, we chunked him a little bit, but this guy is literally mortal or something. Uh, never mind. I think if you are, I died there, no? <laughs> I think I almost ended that. <laughs> Whoopsies. My bad. But Sin Zhao, like this guy hates me. I don't get why. What have I done? Thanks. Who is this guy though? TFT Gamer. Shout out TFT Gamer. Uh, what You know what I've started to do guys? Like before every game these days, I'm like guys, I'm recording for YouTube. And then I, uh, I don't really say my YouTube channel if they don't ask me like afterwards. But I always say like, I'm gonna record this for YouTube, win or lose. So you better perform or else people are gonna see if you're a douchebag or not, you know? <laughs> so I always put some pressure on them to perform. <laughs> it's actually been paying off, I'm not gonna lie. I think I'll be winning more games now. It's a little bit of a mental, uh, mental tactic, right? Because those people want to see... I might be a very big YouTuber, they don't know. I never say my YouTube channel beforehand, though. Like, I don't say, like, my YouTube... I mean, I never link it. Uh, I usually link it off the game if people ask me, you know, Hey, what's your YouTube? If we win or lose, you know. People sometimes, you know, if we lose, they might be coming in and flaming. I've been seeing a little bit of flame lately on my YouTube channel, but it's okay. I don't really mind it. But, um, when I win, I do link it as well. So people can see their performances. Uh, again, it's been working out. And sometimes people flame me in lobby. Like, and no one cares about your two viewer channel. I'm like, <laughs> feels bad, man. Let's keep taking these. Getting a little bit of advantage here. 
getting back the er bad early game we had. I wish I bought my item beforehand. Why is this guy chasing me? The funniest part is though, even though this guy is useless, right? He's kind of ending. He's still putting a lot of pressure on the map. Like Cyan should be doing, right? Spit pushing, been hell of annoying. I probably need Void Staff second here. This guy is getting beefy. Like he has one item and he's still tanky as a... I'm not gonna say it, you know, because it's YouTube and all. But it's very tanky. Which is a little bit tilting. Sign the own horn. I got top. I'll shove this in. Get a turret. He's getting a top bot turret here. It's uh, it's whatever. Like he's ending, right? He's just perma dying, but he's getting a lot of pressure. It's kind of insane. It's kind of insane that that strat is uh, still viable. You can end game and win games. Never am I lucky, right? No, man. Why is this Graves randomly top? Like, what's going on? He's always after me, this guy. Why did everyone come top all of a sudden? Aunt. Oh. <laughs> Whoopsies. Oh, boy. Uh, team? What are we doing? Wait. Oh my. Yeah, balance. Go. We can have to take. I got a lot of damage. Die, little rat. This grave is tilting me, though. I'm just gonna reset, guys. Again, I don't wanna die. 
What? Cyan killed him? <laughs> well, Cyan is worth gold again. I guess that's something. Uh, we don't have Cyan for Drake fight. I mean, not Cyan, Gragas, man. Gragas is on our team. Whoopsies. Kind of losing out on the macro. I'm not gonna lie. We're playing. We've been playing very bad. We have a big lead, but we're playing like we're behind. Losing these rakes, never having the first vision or vision control anywhere. Look at the map. We're literally invisible. Nowhere to be seen. Nothing to be seen. We do have a lead, but doesn't feel like it. I don't know about this one, guys. We're losing bot side as well. I mean, if we kill, I think we end the game here. But um, this guy's pushing in with 900 minions here. Debatable TP, though. We do have Nasher. Okay. Now we just have to push all the way here. All the way in here. Just to make sure it doesn't push in. And Cyan can like end the game. They're one break from Soul, which is not good. We should definitely push bot. We have super minions mid. I'm not sure why we're grouping mid there or why we're pushing mid. Let's just deep push bots as long as uh, as far as we can. Take the super minions so they don't, they don't like group up or not group up, but. Crush in, and then we try to play for it. Again, Sign is gonna ask for push. Look at mid here. Mid is pushing in. Brock or a geyser. 
not necessary at all. I mean, Samira can just beat this guy. The thing is, she's very fed. So it would be good if she's here. But... Someone has to deal with them. I, I don't think I can beat them out one, one versus one if I'm gonna be totally honest. game is over guys thank you so much for watching a little bit troublesome game I'm not gonna lie the early game was uh, a little bit rough for me Kinda shouldn't listen to calls, I feel are bad, but we always do because it's just a middling instinct, right? We have to go for it or else we're gonna lose even more, I feel like. And sometimes, again, we don't even get anything. We didn't get any kill from that, I think, and we all died almost. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this was enjoyable and I'll see you guys when we hit Masters, I think. Peace out.